So I have a bit of a problem. You see, I am a proud Arch Linux user. I make sure to tell all of my friends and family that I use Arch, by the way, and I like to make sure that all of my packages are nicely set up and everything is maintained, it's updated, and my system just never breaks. That is, of course, until I broke my system by doing an accidental partial upgrade in front of hundreds of people live on stream. Something's gone wrong. Let me restart the computer here. Look at that, huh? God, that was so embarrassing. But ever since that day, I have vowed to never let that happen ever again. And I found out a great solution. Well, it's a series of solutions, but today we're gonna cover time shift. We're gonna cover snapshots using BTRFS. And we're gonna cover actually loading your snapshots from the Grub bootloader using Grub BTRFS. And then there's a special little thing at the end that I think makes this setup amazing. You are never ever gonna break your computer again if you do an accidental partial upgrade with Pac-Man, I promise. Stick around, it's gonna be fun. Now, before we get into this, I just want to mention really quick that this is a very specific setup that I use. Now, no matter what your setup is, you can use some version of these tools for it. You can kind of mix and match certain things or you can use different options and it will work for you. But the things I'm going to cover are for the BTRFS file system or ButterFS, or as I like to call it, Butterfs, and for Arch Linux and for the Grub bootloader. Now, the default bootloader for Arch Linux, I believe, is systemd boot. But for me, I'm using Grub and you'll see why in a second. It makes this so much easier. But without further ado, let's ask ourselves a question. What the hell is ButterFS? So BTRFS, or pronounced as BetterFS, ButterFS, BTRFS, or Butterfs, is a computer storage format that combines a file system based on the copy on write principle. BTRFS is intended to address the lack of pooling, snapshots, checksums, and integral multi-device spanning in Linux file systems. So essentially what we're saying here is that BTRFS or BTRFS is a system, a file system that was made specifically to address a few different problems in Linux file systems, one of them being snapshotting. And it does that through the copy on write principle. Okay, what the hell is the copy on write principle. The copy on write principle is a way to essentially duplicate or copy operations on modifiable resources. Let's talk about this in a little bit more of a simple example, right? When you have a file system, let's call this an ext4 file system. This is generally the normal default file system that you'll see in Linux. And let's say you have a file in this file system. Now, when you want to overwrite some of this data, essentially what happens is that your operating system will just overwrite all the data on this file right here. So you you can't really recover this very easily. Now on a BTRFS system that employs copy on write, what happens is you have an original file and then when you write a new file, the operating system will actually allocate a new file to be written and it will write only the new data to this new file. And then it will update certain pointers and other metadata to point to this new file so that we actually have an existing copy of the original data until things are more finalized. And then eventually this data gets released and used for other things, but BTRFS FS and copy on write will keep behind original copies of data. So it's much easier to snapshot this data so you can boot from it if something breaks. Okay, so now we've covered the basics of BTRFS and copy on write and why this is a good thing. So how do we actually create snapshots and what do we do with them? Good question. Now all this talk about snapshots and the resiliency of my Arch Linux setup has got me thinking about something else. That is the resiliency of the passwords here at typecraft.dev. And that is why we've partnered with Nord NordPass. NordPass is from the creators of NordVPN, and they have created an amazing way for businesses to share and store sensitive information and sensitive passwords, and also generate secure passwords that are stored in their vault. It's amazing. And one of my favorite features that NordPass offers businesses is the ability to share not only passwords amongst colleagues, but also sensitive information. In the storage vault, you can actually share sensitive information with people through NordPass. It's an amazing tool, and we use it here at typecraft.dev in a lot of different ways. So use activation code typecraft at nordpass.com slash typecraft to get a NordPass business account free for three months with no credit card required. Check them out. Okay, now let's get back to snapshots on Linux. Now the easiest to use tool that I have found for Linux for managing my snapshots in either BTRFS or even EXT4 systems is TimeShift. I like TimeShift. I think it has a really great GUI. It has a lot of good support and it's well used and a lot of people use it. It's just, it just seems like a really nice 
nice tool. And of course you can use it with both BTRFS or with EXT4 or other file systems like, I don't know, FAT32 or RiserFS if you're a freaking crazy person. And you can use those with RSync. And that's kind of a different technology that we're not going to cover in this video, but we're gonna cover BTRFS mode. So let's download and install TimeShift and make our first snapshots. So we open our terminal and because I'm using Arch, by the way, I'm going to use Pac-Man to install TimeShift. And of course, it's as easy as one, two, three, and now time shift is installed. There you go. Now you might have seen uh, some output here that looks a little crazy. We're gonna get into that in a second. Don't worry. It's actually a little bit of a sneak peek for something you're gonna see later. It's really cool. You'll see, you'll see. So once time shift is installed, we can open it up like any other program. We have to give our password because this thing is touching every file in our system. And this is what time shift looks like. It's a great program and it's really easy to create snapshots to manage them and to do whatever you want. So let's just show off, of course, I've actually been using this for a little while now, but let's just show off how you would set this up in a wizard, okay? Now, of course, you have two different options here, one for BTRFS, which is the file system that we are using, or Baturfs, as I like to call it, or rsync. Now, rsync is something we're not gonna cover, but basically it creates hard links for any other file system that you might be using so that you can restore from those hard links. Now we click on next, and we can check out our snapshot location, and of course, that is just our hard drive, and we click next again. Again. And we actually have what looks like something of a cron tab for a uh, time shift. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to automatically set up times where your computer will take snapshots. Now, this is extremely helpful. For me, I set it up to daily and I keep about three of these snapshots because I don't want to have it taking up my whole entire file system with snapshots. And then we can click next from here and then you're all done. You click finish and that's all you need. Now, of course, I've created a bunch of ad hoc snapshots here and that's what you see here, but essentially that's all you use time shift for it, you can automatically create snapshots or you can create them ad hoc you can manage them you can delete them it's a really great tool and i suggest you look into it a little bit more and one cool little thing before we get moving on to the next piece here you can actually see all of your snapshots in your btrfs system using the sub volumes command for your btrfs system you do sudo btrfs sub volume list and that will give you all of the sub volumes in your file system and you can see towards the bottom here we actually see our time shift btrfs snapshots listed as sub volumes in our file system. Pretty cool and something to keep in mind. Okay, so this is all fantastic. We have time shift, we're creating snapshots, we can load these snapshots wherever we want, but what happens if we break our system and we cannot actually load into our desktop environment? For me, I'm using GNOME, but for you, you might be using something else. If we can't load our desktop environment and load time shift, how are we supposed to back up and restore our snapshots? Well, that's where this tool comes into play. It's a tool called Grub BTRFS and Grub BTRFS improves the Grub bootloader by adding a BTRFS snapshot sub menu, allowing the user to boot into snapshots, which is fantastic. Basically what this does is when you load up Grub, if Grub is your bootloader, this tool will actually add a sub menu that will contain all of the BTRFS snapshots on your system that were created by TimeShift. That's fantastic. And we want that because if our machine is broken, if we completely borked it, it's completely bricked, we want to be able to actually just load our snapshot from our bootloader, right? We can't load our whole entire operating system, but if our bootloader can load, then we can load our snapshot, which is a fantastic tool to have. So let's go over installing Grub BTRFS. It's fairly straightforward. Of course, I'm using Arch, so all I would do is use Yay, which is my Arch helper of choice, and I would do Yay S Grub BTRFS. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Now that took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but we're here nonetheless. And so we have Grub BTRFS installed, but how do we actually use it? Well, what you can do is you can manually append the submenu to your Grub bootloader by running this thing manually. Now to manually generate Grub snapshots, you can run this command right here, which will update the Grub BTRFS config file. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So let's do that. Now this command will look for all the snapshots on our system and update our Grub BTRFS config file, which is good. Okay, it says it's a success, so that's really great. And then what we want to do is run the grub make config command, which will check the grub btrfs config file and generate new menu items for our grub config based on what's in there. So we run this and of course we must run this as root. So let's try and type sudo. Okay, great. So now we can see that we found two snapshots and our grub configuration file has been updated and we can check this out by actually just opening up the grub bootloader configuration file. Let's cd into boot. 
and grub. And let's open up our grub dot cfg file and now we can look for snapshots and here we go now down here we have all of our arch linux snapshots and we can see that it is part of the grub btrfs config file we actually just load that here so then let's load up our grub btrfs config file let's inspect that one and we can see that we have some snapshots here so this is essentially what we're going to see on our grub bootloader when we click on arch linux snapshots we're going to have these entries right here which are the two snapshots that are still on our system from time shift that's really great now all of this is cool but i don't want to just manually run these commands whenever i want to add new menu items to my grub bootloader when i have new snapshots isn't there an automated way to do this the answer is yes you see grub btrfs ships with a daemon a mat daemon called grub btrfsd it is the system d daemon that will run on your machine when you install grub btrfs but there's a little bit of editing that you have to do with this one as well if you're using time shift let's just get into it now the first thing you're going to want to do is actually install a different tool entirely called i notify tools now i saw this reference somewhere and anyone can correct me if i'm wrong in the comments down below but i believe you have to install i notify tools which is a tool that allows a process to inspect file changes on your linux file system so that this grub btrfsd daemon can actually watch for these changes in your sub volumes whenever a new snapshot is created if this is not necessary again please let me know in the comments below but i think this is necessary so we can install i notify tools pretty easily just like that and uh yeah that's it now i notify tools is installed now this gives our grub btrfsd daemon a way for it to look into our file system and inspect when files change so in theory whenever a file changes meaning when we get new snapshots the grub btrfsd daemon will be able to see that that change and it can automatically regenerate our boot config for grub and add these new menu items for us okay great but there's one problem you see grub btr FSD is set up to run for snapper which is a different tooling for snapshotting entirely but it has the ability to do this for time shift as well all you have to do is edit one file and here's the file you have to edit you type sudo system cuddle edit dash dash full grub btrfsd this tells system cuddle that we want to edit the grub btrfsd daemon this will open your editor and you can scroll down to the exec start section of this file now typically what it has is a directory i believe called snapper it's something like that but since we are using time shift we want to change this to time shift auto that's all you have to do and it'll work correctly now you can see in the comments here it actually mentions it so if if you just read a little bit you can understand why this works and why we're doing it but that's all you have to do so now after you've edited everything in the grub btrfsd configuration file we can do what you want to do with the normal system cutel things you want to say sudo system cutel enable grub btrfsd now that will enable this service to run whenever we load our system and then of course we want to run sudo system cutil start grub btrfsd this will start our matt daemon that will then run and inspect all of our files so that when a new snapshot is created by theory we will then update our boot config so let's see if this works in action we can run our journal cutil and just to tail the logs of our system d stuff and we can open up time shift and within time shift let's create a new snapshot and go back and look at our logs we can see that btrfs created the snapshot and it tagged it and then we see down here our grub btrfsd matt daemon has recreated the grub menu so it's actually working now we have our new snapshot in our grub sub menu which means we can load this snapshot from the bootloader this is fantastic we're automatically creating every single day a snapshot of our system through time shift and grub btrfs with grub btrfsd is automatically creating sub menu items on our boot loader so that if our machine's completely effed up we can boot into a snapshot no problem that's unbelievable and this makes our system rock solid it's going to be really hard to break this thing now but wait my initial problem was that i did an accidental partial upgrade using pac-man is there a tool that will help me make a snapshot whenever i install things through pac-man well yes there is and this is the final tool i want to show you it's unbelievable 
unbelievable. That amazing tool is called Time Shift Auto Snap, and it's available on the Arch user repository. It is a tool that will essentially run before you upgrade any packages through Pac-Man, and it'll create a new snapshot through Time Shift. So now this is gonna be an amazing workflow. You see, what we're gonna have here is we're gonna have Time Shift Auto Snap create a new snapshot through Time Shift before we update any packages with Pac-Man, and then what's gonna happen is Grub BTRFS is going to update our Grub bootloader because the Grub BTRFS D daemon has seen that we've created a new snapshot. So in theory, and this is the amazing part here, whenever we install or update any packages through Pac-Man, we are going to create a snapshot, thus bulletproofing our system in case we accidentally do a partial upgrade with Pac-Man. Let's see how this works. So you can install Time Shift Auto Snap like anything else. Yay, S Time Shift Auto Snap. And of course, we are downloading this through the AUR, so there's a couple extra steps here, even with Yay, which is my favorite helper for Pac-Man. We enter our password, proceed with installation, and now Timeshift Auto Snap is installed. Now we can check out the Timeshift Auto Snap configuration file by looking at Etsy Time Shift Auto Snap. So if we open this up, we can just look around here. We can see that it will automatically create snapshots and by default, it holds three snapshots, which is good. So that's pretty cool. So now what happens is, is as long as we have our Time Shift Auto Snap installed, we have Time Shift installed and we have Grub BTRFS, we are going to automatically create snapshots that will show up in submenus in Grub so that we can boot from them if our computer is broken whenever we install anything through Pac-Man. That's unbelievable. So let's see this thing in action. We can update all our packages by just typing yay. And we're going to find something really interesting is going to happen when we try and update our packages. Let's see some of this output here. Oh, and you might've missed it, but it's in there. If we scroll up, we can see that we are actually creating a new snapshot because we're using yay and we're updating packages. We create a time shift snapshot before upgrade. We create a new backup. We save it. We create a sub volume snapshot using time shift. And then BTRFS saves that snapshot. And we can see down here that BTRFS, that Grub BTRFS D actually picked up that change and regenerated our Grub configuration file. So this is now an amazing setup where anytime we use Pac-Man, we're gonna create a new snapshot so that we're never going to break our computer again. And if we do, we can just load from a previous snapshot that was created literally right before we updated our system. This is a fantastic setup and I love it. I hope you guys find this helpful. Helpful. Feel free to subscribe for more Linux tips and tricks and Vim stuff. And hey, thanks, nerds.